Okay, so here in Wyoming, and we're looking at a furnace AC replacement. Our furnace is located um, in a closet. You'll notice the levered doors um, meet in code. Um, this is a downflow unit. Um, so the actual base um, that the furnace is sitting on is actually um, uh, part of the supply air. Um, and you'll notice that the um, return air is uh, coming in from the top. Um, there's a filter um, that's actually missing at the moment, um, but that's kind of been, I guess, custom made um, to filter the air. Uh, for the liner, um, it's a five inch liner that's coming out of the roof, which is pretty close by. Um, so we need the transition to um, drop down to the four inch uh, for the new furnace. Um, got the measurements for the width. The current one is 14. Um, we'll be coming back with one a little wider, um, 17 and a half inch, but um, we do have enough room. You can see that um, supply is actually pretty close. That's 18 inches wide, so the new furnace will be um, pretty much sitting right on top of that um, um, supply base. Um, as far as gas is concerned, um, there is an older um, isolating valve with a drip, so that's good. Um, and you can see the electrics um, you know, coming in that are in a um, sleeve. Uh, the drain starts in vinyl, so we'll replace that, and then it goes into PVC and it probably drops down um, to a drain um, in the basement. Um, line set's close by, um, so we'll replace that. Um, you know, and connected to the new unit um, that's located on the roof. Um, as far as the access is concerned, um, yeah, we're at, this is actually a um, two-story um, unit. Um, so to get the old uh, furnace out, a little bit of a steep staircase, but pretty much straight down, um, and then out. Um, uh, to the down down another set of stairs and out uh, to the back of the property. Just the way that this um, return drop is configured, there's actually a return um, coming in um, from you know the the uh, joist um, cavity um, just adjacent to the unit. It's also coming in um, underneath um, you know through the ceiling. I think it might be easiest just to leave this return um, drop in place and then you know once we come in with a new a coil um, and a new furnace we may need to make a modification um, you know for this um, box that's uh, well, plenum that's controlling the return air coming back so i got the dimensions of that that's it